You want to be rich? You should connect to Source. Bam! That's right. You didn't think we could have spirituality and making money together, did you? You didn't think we could have that. We can totally have that. And in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can get peace of mind, love in your heart, and be making lots of money. I had a call with a guy the other day, had a little call, and basically he's like, Sasha, I want to start a business. I want to be financially independent. Can you help me? And after speaking to this guy for a very short period of time, I realized that his, his health was not together. This guy's health was just not good. Uh, variety of reasons, but he was not feeling good in the body. And I was like, dude, do you really think you, you're going to have the, the mental clarity, the stamina, the energy, the commitment, you know, to start a business that's going to be successful when you don't feel healthy in the body and you're, you don't even know what you want to do. You're not particularly inspired. You're not connected to any higher purpose. Do you really think now's the time to start a business? And he was like, ah, maybe not. Okay, yes, probably, maybe not. Now, how many people out there start businesses merely because they want to make money? Probably a lot, a lot of people. I don't know the percentage, but let's just say a lot. There's no higher guidance. There's no divine inspiration. There's no inner fire knowing passion that's like driving you to do it. If you don't have that divine inspiration, connection, intuition with you, it's going to be work. It's going to be difficult work. This is why so many businesses fail because it wasn't divinely inspired. It was just somebody or a couple of people going, how do we make money? We need to make money. What can we sell? How do we sell it? And sure, you can get a certain level of success doing that. Absolutely. But it's really your ego mind or a bunch of ego minds planning how do we make money? But when you are truly inspired and connected, it's not your ego making money. It is source working through you to put through, put into this world some amazing idea that's probably gonna make everybody's life better. And because of that reason, because it's divinely inspired and for the benefit of others, of course, there'll be financial abundance. But because your priority wasn't making money, it was actually making the world better in some way. And that's the difference. And that's what I explained to this gentleman. I was like, dude, you need to get your body to a place where you feel good, number one. You gotta get your health together. Then you need to have some kind of spiritual practices, whatever they may be, could be meditation, could be walking, could be, you know, uh, energy qigong exercises, but, but you have to have something going on in your life where you're gonna be able to quiet your mind and be still so that you can tap into those higher energies. Little quick tip, how do you know that you are really connected when you're doing anything, when you're creating, when you're working, when you're communicating with others. Well, a couple of months ago, I made a little song with my friend Don. It's pretty dope. And when we were creating this song, the amount of, uh, the amount of excitement, and energy and passion that was there when we made the song was just unbelievable. We were so excited about it and it just happened automatically. Time goes fast when you're having fun, but when you're really having fun, your mind's not there. You're in the flow. You're just being, right? So we are all, we're all naturally, when we come into this world, we're all naturally connected. We're just presence. We're just being. And then the programming begins and then boom, we fall out of that. Everybody's got that capability. All human beings have gotten divine inspiration, that crazy idea, oh, I could do this, I could do that. That gut feeling that, oh, if I was to bring this into the world or start this business or do this with my life, it could be really amazing. And we get excited, we feel it, and then what happens? Rather than doing it, we go back into our mind, ego mind sabotages us, oh yeah, but it probably wouldn't work, you wouldn't make enough money, right? People are gonna think you're weird, why don't you just do the safe thing, right? And of course, we end up not doing that amazing thing, even though it was divinely inspired, right? And we stick to the status quo. Happens to everybody. This is the human condition. What do we need to do with our lives? What do we need to prioritize to get to a place where we actually feel good and clear so we can connect to that divine spark, which is our essence, right? That's the point. And so all I want to do is, is encourage everybody in this video, do what you got to do here with this, and with this, so that you can actually connect to source, which is, those that follow me know, I say it a lot, it's just another version of you. 
If you're one of the beings watching this thinking, man, I could really use some help with all this stuff. It's too much, I don't know where to start. Somebody help me. Uh, we do have a little community for infinite men. We're all working on being more epic together, supporting each other, loving each other, not like in a sexy, just, just as brothers. The link's below if you want to maybe join us. You are fully supported and you can do absolutely anything as long as you're able to connect to that greater power, that higher intelligence, and let that be your wisdom and your guidance. Sending you all much love. All the appropriate links to what's happening are always below. Love you and see you when I see you.